What's going on, YouTube? It's time coming at you here late on a Friday night. Uh, I got part 16 of the Twins PC uh, showcase video tonight. Um, haven't been able to make a video the last couple of days, but I figured I'd make one here tonight uh, since I have the chance. And hopefully, the air conditioning has already started cooling enough where I won't be in a pool sweat by the time I'm done with this part. Um, decent stack of stuff here. A couple of bigger names from Team History in the pile. Uh, still, it looks like Justin Morton will be in the next uh, part when I get around to that. But, uh, get started here. First, a couple of cards from early, uh, late 90s, early 2000s prospect that never did anything. Ryan Mills, uh, pitcher. It's 99 Bowman Chrome. Is 99 tops draft picks with JM Gold of the Brewers. Never heard of that guy at all. And he does have a rookie card, 2001 upper deck. Spent a little bit of time, I guess, up with the team. Next, I had a pitcher who is supposed to be one of our bigger uh, guys this year, but has been in and out of the rotation. Most of the season hasn't been consistent, but I guess you could say that about everybody. Uh, Tommy Malone, uh, 2015 tops. Tops Heritage. And 2016 tops Heritage. Next small stack of this guy. Um, he's one of the guys that we got in the Chuck Knobloch trade to the Yankees. Good middle of the rotation guy for the team for a handful of years. Eric Milton got a 98 Bowman's Best. Donner's finest with the heel still on it. Got a that's uh, 98 too. Clear Tradition. Ultra. And Upper Deck. 99 Clear Tradition. Tops. And Upper Deck. 2000 Clear Metal Universe Clear Showcase Clear Tradition Still 2000 Yeah uh, Skybox Dominion uh, Highlights It's got the 9-11 down there, but uh, two years before what everybody remembers 9-11 for, uh, he had the, he pitched a no-hitter for the Twins in 99. Uh, 2000 Upper Deck Victory. 2001 Stadium Chrome. Tops Chrome. I like the design of these ones. Upper Deck Vintage. A 2002 Bowman Chrome uh, X Fracker style parallel. That's 242 out of 250. Clear. Tops. Certified material, or leaf certified materials. Tops Gallery, a little artsy design on that one, and 2004 Upper Deck, and yeah. got a couple of cards that aren't in the regular 
PC box of this uh, 2000 Fleer Autographics autograph. Milton. And 2002 Tosh Pristine uh, Deckle Edge Gold Refractor. Just that it's in case there. That's 22 out of 70. Next, one card of 1964 Twins First Baseman Don Mincher from 65 Tops. Got a few cards of this next prospect here. Um, I know he's still in the system, but I haven't really heard anything uh, about what's going on with him. Uh, Maurice Minier. Minier. Not even sure how to pronounce his name. Uh, got a 2014 Bowman Chrome prospect card. 15 Bowman Chrome uh, Orange Refractor. It's 2 out of 25. And then, not numbered, but the 2015 Bowman Chrome Orange Wave Refractor. And then I actually pulled this card one time down at this shop here in Fargo. Uh, 2015 Bowman Chrome Prospect Autograph. A couple of this guy. I don't know anything about him except he was an early 80s upfielder. Bob Mitchell. 83 Donors, or 83 Clear, I should say. 83 Tops. And 84 Tops. A few cards of this next guy. Don't know a ton about him. He was catcher in the late 60s, early 70s with the team. Um, and I'll get to it in the last part of the series, but uh, his rookie card is a dual rookie card with uh, Yankees future star Greg Nettles. Uh, George Metterwald, so this is 1970 Tops. 71 Tops. And 74 Tops. Next few cards is Next guy here, just a, I don't think he ever made it with the team. I know he was a touted prospect, but of course that's how it usually goes with, with uh, the Twins farm system. But uh, Chad Muller, uh, 1999 Bowman's Best, 2000 Bowman, and 2000 Bowman Chrome. Small stack. The next guy here. I remember him early 2000s. Kind of liked him. Didn't have a ton of power. Yeah, he got double digits home runs a couple years. I think uh, they were playing at the Coliseum. Or, yeah, it would have been at the Coliseum. And he tripped over the bullpen pitching mound and blew out his knee. Dustin Moore. Uh, 2002 Fleer Tradition. 2003 Leaf. Prestige. Another Prestige. I believe I got this one from uh, Hudson Fan 15. Base card, but I don't know if, you're gonna, if it's going to come up on camera at all. Yeah, there's a National stamp on it. You can kind of see it when the light is in the area. This is not going to come up very well. That's actually number 105. The 2004 Donners. And tops. Three cards, I believe. Yeah, three cards of the next guy here. Um, shortstop prospect. I believe he's still in the system, but I haven't heard too much on him lately. Uh, Nelson Molina, 2013 Bowman Draft Chrome. Draft Chrome Refractor. I just the Bowman Draft Base. 
got a pretty good stack going to the next guy here. Um, I believe him and Harmon Filger are the next two closest that I have to 100 different cards of. Here's the current manager of the Twins, uh, Paul Molitor. Quite a big stack from his playing days and from his managerial days now. Got a 96 Bowman. Ninety-six EXL. Twins are having a horrible year this year, and I think he and his staff might, you know, need part of the blame. But I think it's mostly ninety-six finest. Still got to feel on it. Front office's fault. Um, I think they should just clean house after the season. Ninety-six Leaf total bases. 47, 72 out of 5,000. I mean, these, like they like to call it, they're the country, the Twins staff, front office coaching is the Minnesota Country Club. That's what they like to call them around here. 97 Donners preferred, or 96 Leafs preferred, I should say. They've gone with familiarity, people they know. Leaf metal, silver. Leaf Metal Gold. Both with the peel on it. But I think they need to go in a different direction next year. Pinnacle. Get guys in there from outside the box. Give, you know, let somebody come in from the outside, bring in a different ideal uh, for the team. I know some guys are suggesting odds again. I don't know if I'd go with him. Uh, 96 Pinnacle 300 Club. Yeah, just somebody different with a different idea where they should go with the team. Uh, 300 Club Starburst. Just clean out, start all over. I mean, you see these guys, you know, the coaching, as far as the coaching staff go, score true grit. These guys, they call them up, select, and, you know, they don't form at the level that everybody's supposed to expect in this format. Sportflix at the logo and then him holding up the jersey at the press conference when he signed with the team. Upper deck season highlights. And then they send them back, you know, these guys back down. These guys, you know, perform at a higher level at AAA. Upper deck best of a generation. You know, it could be Upper Deck Diamond Dynasty with the acetate photo in there. You know, that maybe these guys are just quadruple A, as they like to say, Upper Deck Young at Heart. But it could be the coaching staff at the Major League level, too, screwing up with the mechanics that they've learned down in the minors. Maybe Bowman, I mean, Buxton, Rosario, Kepler. Owen's best. And the guys that have left the team over the years have flourished elsewhere, or at least done better elsewhere. Electric Choice, the big show. So I think, yeah, just, you know, they need to do something different. Go with go in a completely different direction. Electric Choice stickums and little stickers. Yeah, that's my rant uh, on the current Twins team. Donruss hit list. Signature Series, 97EX, Finest Competitors, Peel still on it, like these ones, uh, Finest, it's actually on the back of this card, uh, Interleague Matchups, you got Molitor, now on the other side, you got the Pirates, Jeff King. Clear Encore. Clear Metal Universe. Leaf.
complete uh, fractal matrix x axis die cut. It's a gold style die cut card, obviously, not numbered. Pacific. Pinnacle. Another pinnacle card. I'm guessing this is a subset though. Pinnacle Express. Get that out of work. Pinnacle Certified. Sticker on the curve. Peel still on there. Pinnacle Inside. Ninety-seven score. Stadium club. Studio. Tops numbers crunchers. UD three promotion. Upper deck. Zenith. 98 got uh, Aurora from Pacific. Bowman Chrome Refractor. It's the interstate parallel with uh, the Twin Cities, Wisconsin area background there. Since he's from St. Paul. Donruss. Player Showcase. Another Fleer Metal Universe, different year. Pacific. Pacific Paramount. Pinnacle Inside. Skybox Dugout Access. Stadium Club is. Never compromise. Cool. Triple shot of his zooming in there as well. Tops gold label. Cool pictures on that. 99 Aurora. 99 Clear Metal Universe. Clear Tradition. Omega, Pacific, Pacific Crown, Pacific Private Stock, SP Authentic Epic Figures. Upper Deck Ionics, or UD Ionics. Upper Deck Black Diamond. And then move on to Post Playing Career, 2002 Fleer Tradition, This Day in History. Uh, from when he, yeah, 3,000th hit is first player to hit a triple for his 3,000th hit uh, while playing with the Twins. Uh, 2004 Leather and Lumber. 1901 out of 2499. 2005 Donners Champions. 2005 Upper Deck Baseball Heroes 108 out of 199. The green parallel. I know it's a different set, but what up, Tom? I know you love the Baseball Heroes collections. 2008 Donners Threads. Donner's Threads College Greats. I played for the University of Minnesota. 2009 Tops. Uh, this is the veteran short print uh, variation. It's the same card as 
one of the regular players that was in set one of the, I don't know, I'm sure most of you guys know this, but you know, one of the active players at the time, and then they got, then they replaced it with retired player. 2012 Tops Gold Standard insert. 2013 Tops Allen and Ginter. Tops Gypsy Queen. Mini. And the Mini, we've probably the short, or the box topper, uh, short print photo variation. 2014 Tops Fond Farewells. 2000, I got this out of order. Tops Museum Collection Green, 67 out of 199. And then for his current job, 2016 Tops Heritage, uh, labeled as manager. And got a pretty big stack of hits, that is. Uh, 2007 Sweet Spot Classic, Jersey card, pinstripe looks light blue enough to actually be the Brewers jersey, uh, Donner Threads, same thing, 133 out of 300, 2011 Tops Marquee, number 49 out of 75 Titanic Threads, Awful jersey that they wore back in the day, the Dairy Queen Red, as it was called. It was an alternate jersey. Uh, another marquee. Uh, dual jersey card, 94 out of 99, again the red. 2013 Tosh Tribute. There's the base autograph, uh, 97 out of 99. And I remember I won one of these on eBay on the same day I did a mail day with it. I got a care package in, I want to say, from Greg Thomas 82, or his half of a trade we made. And uh, got the other version in, in the trade in the same mail day. Uh, number first, number 5 out of 25, uh, the purple Mojo Signature Distinction Die Cut Autograph. Or could have been Tammy Husband, too. Sorry, guys. It's been a while. I got a lot of cards I can't remember. Who sent me everything? I know, you know most, I can remember most of the people I've dealt with as far as who sent me cards. I just can't remember which one's which. Uh, number 3 out of 49, the red die cut autograph version. Few cards is this next guy. I think he only played with the Twins in 08, 07? 08. And, uh, I remember him with the Tigers. But he came into the Twins for one year. Uh, here we went to the autograph pregame party. Uh, where the game I got this one. Autograph 2007 upper deck. Uh, pictured as a Tiger. Since he was in a Twins uniform at the time, I got him signed on that. Uh, 2008 Tops, Craig Monroe. I don't think I actually mentioned his name. Uh, Tops Heritage. Upper Deck. And 2009 Upper Deck. And I do have one hit. Uh, 2008 Stadium Club, Beam Team, that was cool. Uh, church window cards that they had autograph. And then I'm going to end it with a couple of quick, don't know the guys, vintage cards. Uh, first 1973 tops of second baseman Dave Monzen. And a 1963 tops uh, Ray Moore. So that's it guys, that's it for that part. I probably could have done more, but I just uh, made a stack I figured would at least get me to 30 minutes. Um, but it only got me to 25, so guys, Twins Double Lot is still available. Link will be down below. And uh, video tomorrow might actually be a mail day. Um, first mail day since Brad surprised me with a package. 
but uh, I have a Tosh Redemption coming in. Um, I mentioned it in the previous video. I'll probably talk about, or talk about it again in the next one. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, Bargain FedEx is in town, so hopefully it'll be here tomorrow. And uh, if it's not, we'll do part 17, part 16, whatever we're on. All right, talk to you guys later. Later.